open your ears, and lube up your butthole. It's time for the What Do We Call It podcast. Now, here's your host, it's J-Man. Welcome to the What Do We Call It podcast. I'm J-Man. And I'm number one fan, Tim. You may have heard about this teacher in New York. She was involved in a relationship with another teacher at the school. And she had sent him a topless photo of herself. Nice. Right. Like that. And she's not bad looking. I mean, I was like, lucky him. Most I actually have been finding probably half the teachers are pretty good looking, actually. Yeah. So then they break up. And um, one day she gets called to a meeting with school administrators. Probably never a good sign, honestly. Right. Nobody wants the boss to be like, I need to see you in my office. Yeah. Or the ex-wife sends you a text. We need to talk. Well, we need to talk is never good. No, it's not. Especially when you get it when you're very busy. You're like, fuck. Anyways, she goes to this meeting and they pull out this photo. The topless photo. And they show it to her and go, is this you? Did it have her face in it? Uh, I don't. I don't. I, I'm just no. wondering. Because it'd be kind of dumb to give him a picture of herself. And it's her face. is like, is this you? <laughs> yeah, no. It's, I'm guessing that it was enough of her like neck down or whatever. But anyways, point being, they pulled it out. They asked her if it was her. They pretty much embarrassed her on the spot. And then said, well, this was found in the possession of a student. Fired her. Without getting down to the bottom of it. They didn't seem to be all too concerned about getting down to the bottom of the fact that this woman took a picture of her breasts and put it out there into the ether of the internet. And she should have been more responsible and known better because she's a role model. I didn't put it on the internet. I sent it to a boyfriend who broke up with me. You know, that fucker over there in that classroom. Right, that would be the instant inquiry in most uh sane people's minds oh okay well yeah i did take it but also she's a human being just because she's a teacher doesn't mean that she doesn't still have sexual thoughts or feelings or urges or more importantly the right to express herself in her off hours in ways that are in no way damaging to the school as long as they don't end up in the school that's kind of like a discussion we had before about how like my job isn't who i am you know yeah my it's it's not everything i am and i can be whoever i want to be outside of it yeah so basically she's suing the shit out of the school oh i totally would do okay but she's not suing for the reason you'd think she was okay She's suing over gender discrimination. What? Yeah. You're fucking kidding me. Wouldn't shit you, you're my favorite turd. Oh, God. Just listen to this. She, through her lawyer, is claiming that if she was a guy, it wouldn't be an issue because male nipples are not treated like female nipples. Yeah. So she thinks that there's a lack of gender equivalency there. Well, you know, maybe. And it's a social justice warrior Hail Mary Pretty much. And you know, we could spend 10 minutes talking about nipples, but I'd like to get back to the real issue here, at least the one that I think it is that they should be suing for. <laughs> but before we get to that, I have to ask, how concerned are you about nipple equivalency? Not too terribly concerned. So shouldn't it be more about the crime that wasn't investigated? Kind of. About the breaking of the rules, about the male teacher letting this get out? Let's continue talking like they're suing over what the real issue actually is. At no point has anybody addressed yet in the weeks since this came out. Weeks. It has been weeks. Okay. I haven't heard anything about this, so. Nobody has come forward with or apparently tried to go after the explanation of how the student got a hold of the picture. So if the boyfriend or ex-boyfriend who's also a teacher had the only copy of it besides her and it finds its way to a student, not only is this student now in trouble for having pornography on its phone of a school staff, you've got another teacher who's contributing to the delinquency of a minor. All this shit going on and not one person asked the student how he got it? They didn't care, it seems. Of all the media coverage, and I've looked at different stories about this in five or six different outlets, and nobody's really getting to the bottom of that. She's a young, good-looking woman who wanted to show off her tits to her boyfriend. It's like the media has decided to paint the narrative as... How dare you 
exercise your sexuality? How dare you exude that feminism and entice yeah, men with your breasts? You're a teacher. Like, she's supposed to be a fucking prude in Amish clothing. And these are the same people that are out there saying, oh, yeah, these women activists, you know, who are running around in the streets with their tops off. And same people praise these people, yet are shunning her. You have to look at it like this. Aside from what I already said, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, he's interfering with her privacy because she gave him the photo, but did not intend it for mass distribution. She didn't intend it for that, and that's... uh... I, you know, I have to be honestly. I don't, I don't see how she could have foreseen him distributing it to anybody. Well, let alone a student. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let alone a student. I mean, I've gotten you know topless pics of my wife, but nobody's seen them. Even if we, even if we get divorced, <laughs> no, sorry, those are mine. Thank you. I've gotten some good topless pics and showed them off to the boys. And by the boys, I mean. Former co-workers, not like, hey, inmates, look at these tits. I never did that. Oh, see, when you said the boys, I actually pictured you showing your dick. It's like, you want to go with this? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, it's, there's not much of an interview process. If you're sending me pictures of your tits, I've either been inside of you or I'm about to be inside of you. <laughs> That's how okay, it used well. to go before I got married. But um, revenge porn. This is a revenge porn case. Probably. Just like, uh, you know, a girl sends you naked pictures of her, you break up, you post them to the internet to shame her, to embarrass her. But again, not something that I would even think of doing. I'm just thankful I got them in the first place. Exactly. So it's funny that... Who, did it say who... I'm sorry to interrupt. Did it say who broke up with who? Did she break up with him? I don't know. I don't think it said, but they broke up. They're no longer together, so... Well, unless she dumped him for, like no really good reason then it sounds like he just just wasn't ready for it to end and it went badly yeah he's a vindictive prick and even if she was a total bitch and she deserved some comeuppance in his eyes he went about it the wrong fucking way yeah i wouldn't be surprised if her attorneys do a little investigating and find out the source of this where this came from because this is that that whole portion of it isn't going to be left unsaid in court which is why, I'm glad you said that, it's not going to go to court. The school settling? I am. I can say with almost 100% assurity that I think they will settle out of court to spare the details, to just pay her to go away so they don't have to look at the, well, you dropped the ball on investigating what's really going on angle here, because then there's ramifications for the teacher, for the student, for any parents that knew. For these administrators that so callously brought her in and basically embarrassed the shit out of her. Like, how many of them made a copy of that picture for themselves? Yeah, who fucking knows? Uh, I don't think it would go back to the parents, but definitely the teacher and the school administrative. So what she needs to do to make sure this doesn't get settled is ask for such a high amount and not move at all. It's $3.2 million, I think she's asking for. Stick with that number because the school will never pay it. Now, I know what you're saying about the parents not being in trouble, but there there is an angle with the parents here. What's that? If a male teacher had the picture and gave it to a student, wouldn't you as a parent be concerned about that male teacher still being in the school, still shaping impressionable minds, having access to the students? Who knows what else he's up to and why the fuck is he communicating with students? What, did he just drop it into a random locker and think, tee-hee, no one's going to trace it back? In that regard, yes, but when you said back on the parents, I thought you meant like they would get in trouble or something. They need to look into what happened to. Yeah, they do. Yeah, no, no argument there. But for the teacher's sake, for the victim's sake, they need to look into it. I'm not saying they necessarily owe her, but if you're doing what's right, you're going back to the school and go, it's bullshit that you fired her. Rehire her and fire the motherfucker who gave this picture the guy knows how did my kid get this picture why aren't you really digging deep into it you know even if they wanted to rehire her if i were her i wouldn't go back well no no not unless one of those administrators is gonna sacrificially punch their own card and go i'd say all of them that's fucking really not one of them is doing their job right well let's let's do it a little bit differently here um let's say for instance one of our daughters. So we both have a stake in this because we both have daughters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our daughters send a picture 
unfortunately, to a boyfriend or girlfriend whom they send a naked picture of themselves. And then it starts to circulate. So the school finds out about the picture and then suspends her for taking it and introducing this type of material into the school. Immediately in my head, I'm going, what the fuck? No, she's the victim. Yeah, just because she sent her picture out of private communique between her and her boyfriend doesn't mean she did anything technically wrong. But this is what they split hairs about in court. Like, well, once she sends the picture, he now is the owner of the picture. But she didn't give permission for them to disseminate it. Okay, so who owns the picture? Playboy or the centerfold? Well, in that instance, it's or Playboy because it they Or is it me since I have it? it. Well, what, I mean, that's bullshit argument right there. Oh, just because he has it, now he's the owner? No, fuck that. It's the exactly. originator as far as I'm concerned. Well, in the scenario that you just posed, it would be Playboy because they paid for the rights to they take for the, the photos. Yes. And they have publication rights. And just like, you know, the NFL at the beginning of any broadcast is like, the NFL uh, discourages any rebroadcast of this game, whether public or private. Ba- mm-hmm. Basically, if one of our daughters sends a picture to somebody else and they spread it around school, nobody better ask my daughter or your daughter, why did you do this? They better not. And I'd be like, you figure out, well, I'll ask her. Um, please tell me it was just the one boy and where did he live? Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, turn it around. Say I send a dick pic to some chick that I work with. And then if I was at the jail, it finds its way to the phone of an inmate. Yep, same situation. So what do you think my former employer is really going to worry about knowing them and their history with me? <laughs> They're going to be like, why are you sending these inappropriate pictures to a coworker? That's sexual harassment. And I would say, uh, if she consented to the photos and we were, you know, stupid on our time, don't worry about what I do. You have no policy that strictly forbades fraternization between your employees. And until you create one, there's nothing wrong with what we did. But, you know, the way that they operated, they'd make me the issue. That's the same thing that happened to this teacher. I would hope upon hope that if I go, fine, I tell you what, let's have a press conference with the news where I can tell them what I sent to a female coworker, and because she's mad that I broke up with her, that we broke up, she then disseminated it to inmates, and now you've got a whole sex scandal on your hands mm-hmm. because you've got vulnerable population of incarcerated individuals that can't, air quotes, consent to anything per Priya. So now, what do you what do you do? Confiscate every phone of every inmate that's in an outside lockup or a secure spot? Who knows how far that picture's gone? Mm-hmm. No. So, I mean, you look at the, they're burying the real headline with this whole firing the teacher issue. What's really going on is this is a case of a scorned lover and revenge porn and a system in the school of administration that must have clearly not liked her. Because I don't know how the fuck you instantly go for, how could you dare take pictures of your tits? Yeah. Instead of who gave this to the student? Here's a better question. How many times are you going to go home and jerk off to that mental image? Principal swizzle stick. <laughs> At least one of those administrators had to have been a guy. Statistically speaking, if it's a board of three people that you're talking to. At least one was a guy. A, a panel of three two. people, one is a guy. I don't care if there's other females. It's not about gender, but there's got to be at least one guy So to just brazenly, like, is this you? And they take the photo, and right there, bam. Not, we need to talk to you about a situation. There's a picture going around that was found on a student's phone. The rumor has it it's a picture of you. And we're trying to look into how they got it. But... That would have been the best way to approach it. There was no need to show her a picture of herself. Well, at that point, I think you would have to say... Do you want to see the photo yeah, so well, you, you can too, corroborate yes. whether or not this is you? But at that point, if you say yes and you admit to it, 
well, then they might go with the whole angle they already played. If you say yes to seeing it and then no, that's not me, but then they know it's you, well, then you've lied to get out of getting in trouble, and they'll question your integrity that way. I would it, tell them, yes, it's me, but I sent that to a, a boyfriend who's no longer my boyfriend but teaches here. Now, if you want, I'll give you my phone records, and you'll see I've never texted any of the students. She can prove it that way if it was in the kid's phone. Yeah, I think they were too concerned with the fact that a minor had a picture of a female student or well, yeah, female yeah. teacher. Clearly, that's all they want in their small mind, and they think that every time a female, you know, a kid has a picture of boobs, it's a female teacher. There's been a lot of stories with that, and most of them are kind of fascinating to me. But yeah, because <laughs> my teachers were never that nice or good looking. Well, some of them were, but not mm-hmm. many. Uh, but yeah, it's like she could prove this a million different ways that it wasn't her. So hopefully her lawyers are smart enough and do that. Yeah, I just... It boggles my mind that we even have these issues. What pissed me off the most is just... She's not a teacher every minute of every day. No. Just like I'm not a social worker every minute of every day. And guess what? I probably have opinions that my employer would not be in love with. But if I'm voicing them on off hours to people that I trust as confidants, if they go and take that and then run back to my boss, well, he said this. I want my boss to be like, happen on off hours. I don't know what you're trying to pull. None of my business. Shit. Yep. Yeah, that instance you go, not my pig, not my farm. That's how it should be. Interact with the show on Twitter at what do we call it? That is at what do we call it? You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash what do we call it podcast show. For the What Do We Call It podcast, I'm J-Man. And I'm number one fan, Tim. And that's the end.